Jumbo. This presentation was given to the parents and students during the Parents and Family Weekend earlier this term at Gould Academy. Please use it as an introduction and brief summary to the Tanzania trip that you will be going on in March. Here are some words to know. Kiswahili. Gina Langu. My name is. Asante sana. Thank you very much. These are words that we will be using quite frequently during our trip. I recommend using the web to find some language software or apps that might help you learn some basic phrases that will help you when we're on our trip. Four point experiences are listed below. The ninth grade, immersion. You are about to go on a trip to Tanzania and you will be immersed in a different culture. Tenth graders will spend the time on campus working with artists, doing community service, and really getting to know their class well. Eleventh graders will be in the woods on an outdoor experience, learning about themselves, how they work in a group, and becoming really self-aware. Twelfth graders work on independent projects, and hopefully are following a passion that they've developed during their time here at Gould. The goals of the Four Point Program are to build class unity through shared experiences, give an opportunity to gain insight and confidence in a different setting, and provide faculty and students with the opportunity to spend time with each other, get to know each other, share different perspectives outside of the classroom. Types of learning that students experience wherever they go, whether it be China or Tanzania, empathy, sense of self, performance, relationships, and decision making. To the right, you see a student with his homestay parents and host student during his time in Tanzania four years ago. We will get to witness many, many unique different things that we have not seen before. This picture is of two boys going to the water station in Karatu to get water for their family. It is important to observe ask questions, experience, and be a traveler, not a tourist. We want to understand what is happening and share our perspectives with the people that are hosting us. Students will get to put themselves in a much different environment. They will get to journal, reflect, talk to others, see different things, and really think about who they are in this world. Students will be interacting with the students of Tanzania in the classroom and outside of the classroom. They will spend time in their dormitory, time in their home, and time with them on safari, even spending nights in tents with their host students. All students will have a journal with assignments that relate to their history and English classes here back at Gould and they will be expected to present a TED Talk later in the spring term to their class. Relationships are a critical part of this experience. Students will spend time getting to know teachers in Tanzania, facilitating a book discussion with the students of Tanzania. We will be reading The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind and having a great fireside chat about the book on the last night of our trip. The picture to the right are people witnessing or viewing the elephant tracks on the new school that just opened last month. The man on the left is Modest Bio, he's the superintendent of the Tumani Junior School and Tumani Secondary School. And the people on the right are former trustees of Gould Academy and parents of a Gould alum, Frank Lee and Carol Hall have helped make this trip possible and have spent years working with the Tumani schools. The map you see is the area that we'll be spending most of our time in. We do land in the Kilimanjaro airport near Arusha and then we will travel to Makiuni which is in near the lower right hand corner of the red box and then 
spend lots of time in Karatu and in the Serengeti as well. The Tumani Senior Secondary School just opened, as I mentioned, is on the left, and the Tumani Junior School is on the right. Gould Academy students and faculty have spent many years helping the Junior School with different projects, and we will get to witness the library, which is on the fourth floor of the building on the right, uh, that the students have worked on over the past few years. Our project this year will be at the Senior Secondary School and will include designing their library, working with their faculty and students on some potential landscaping projects on their campus, some first aid lessons, and some leadership and communication initiatives. Students will spend three days in the Serengeti with their host, with guides, and teachers from Tumani Secondary School. Here you see students from previous trips working on the library and students from the Tumani Junior School who love to have their pictures taken. Homestays are also a very important part of the program. Students will spend two nights with their hosts and their families in the Karatu area. Mr. Modest Bio and the volunteers of the Chumani Education Corporation will be working to set up the host, host days and will visit the homes prior to our arrival to make sure that the families understand what it means to host a student from the United States and to be sure that it is an appropriate environment. We will spend the last 24 hours of our time in Tanzania at a lodge and it will conclude on our last day with some time with the Hadza. We'll get to see some primitive traditions, practice with some of their tools, and go on a running hunt with them. The basic details of the itinerary are here. We can provide a more detailed itinerary as the date gets closer. The Gould Academy Four Point blog is the best place to go for information. You can see blog entries from the past four years of trips to Tanzania to get a sense of what your son and daughter will experience. And we will do our best, if connections allow, to update the blog during the trip. Emergency protocols for us in Tanzania and for you if you need to get a hold of us for any particular reason should be to go through the Gould Academy Administrator on duty. The number is listed here. While we're in Tanzania, the FAME Clinic is a very modern clinic two and a half miles outside of Karatu. And if anything were to happen, we would go there right away and work with the doctors there to address any injuries, illnesses, or emergencies that arise. Each student will also have a membership with MedJet Assist that allows us to evacuate a student from the country to a hospital in the United States very quickly. If for some reason students are lost, which should not happen, so we'll be supervising students very closely, but we will have a plan in place where they can have a map and know how to get to the Tumani schools, the Tumani Junior School in Karatu, uh, while they're on homestay. Students will also have a list of phone numbers and people to contact in the event of a situation where they might be lost or separated. The students have been briefed about the Gould Academy Code of Conduct, which applies on this trip, as it is a school event. Each student has signed a behavior contract which reiterates what they've already signed in the code of conduct at the beginning of the year. We expect students to be on their best behavior, represent themselves well, and represent Gould very well. If for some reason there is a violation that does not allow the student to stay on the trip, that student would have to be sent home early at the parent's expense. The Tanzania trip is a trip where we have to pack very light. 
all personal items should be packed in a small backpack or a shoulder bag that we will carry on the airport, uh, on the plane with us. Each student will have two 50-pound duffel bags as well, which, is, which will include donations for the school and the tents and sleeping bags we'll use during safari. Gould will supply the tents and sleeping bags. Money. Students will not need a lot of spending money. I have already exchanged US dollars, uh, $100 for each student, and the $100 can be charged to the student's account. I will dispense the money throughout the trip as students need it. $100 should be plenty for the trip to Tanzania. We will not be shopping in many places, but students will have a little bit of time in Karatu to buy gifts uh, or tokens if they wish. We will also go to a tailor, pick out material, and have either dresses or shirts made, and most of those should not cost more than 5 or $10. The packing list is here. As you can see, it's very simple. Ideally, you can just have the shoulder bag and a, a day pack to, to fit all this in. We can review the list once we meet either in Boston or on campus before we leave to make sure students have what they need and are not taking too much. In Tanzania, it is most common to wear pants for boys and a collared shirt for girls it is most common to wear a skirt that is below the knees and a appropriate top tank tops are not appropriate bathing suit is recommended in the event we have time to swim and if you have any other questions about the packing list please let us know tanzania uh, is a modest culture and it is important that we do our best to respect that and look uh, as respectful and appropriate as possible. Donations for the schools and for the volunteer house are wanted. If you have any of the list, uh, any of the items on this list, please let us know and get them to the school prior to our, our departure. Nonfiction books for the Tumani Secondary School Library, sheets and towels for the uh, volunteer house in Karatu, where we will be staying for two nights. Uh, Beanie Babies or other small toys for the small children at the Tumani Junior School. Flower seeds for our landscaping project at the senior school. And cash donations are always welcome. If you have any questions, please contact myself or Pat Donovan here at Gould prior to our departure. Gould Academy Four Point uh, experience is made possible by the generosity of parents, trustees, alum, faculty, staff, and friends, and the parents auction, which takes place later in the spring term during the parent and family weekend. And I hope that all those uh, on this trip and uh, members of the Gould community will be able to participate so that this trip can continue to happen year after year. Thank you.